Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Bellfire, and today we are in Space Engineers. And also, today, my plan is to head into outer space. So, this rover, I actually captured off camera. This one is mainly used for figuring out where I want to set up a base location. This is a atmospheric and space fighter had this one for the longest time then i finally renamed this to the fa the fire turtle and this one i think i named it the fire frigate but anyway let's get the show on the road okay so let me turn on my atmospheric um turn on my reactor unlock my landing gear Oh my gosh, I had <laughs> Oh I need to head into the other one to make sure I deselect. Well also I need to turn off uh, I'll leave that one's damp Oh wait. Here better solution. There we go. That's the best solution I can come up with. Oh be quiet you Fight. And we are dipping forward. Um. Whoa. Okay, well then. Uh, here we go. The reason I want to be in the fire turtle is because that one has hydrogen built into it. Has hydrogen tanks and thrusters built into it, so... But the only thing is, it's not automatically controlled. So let's go ahead and start ascending. And make sure we are actually on axis. And this is why I need to turn off that one's dampeners. For this exact reason. There we go. Now that thing should not be firing anymore. Okay, good. It's no longer firing. Okay. So now all I have to do is just simply begin heading up. And uh, hope. Hope we don't hit anything or anything tries to hit us. And I do believe our atmospherics will become ineffective here very soon. I do have that feeling. When we begin to slow back, slow down. And I think we'll make it to space on our first try, actually. Hmm. My atmospheric engine should be off. Uh, 
Okay. Gravity's at 8, 0.82, 0 0.81 Gs. And we're actually slowing down. That is not good. Something's clearly not happy. Please tell me this will work. We are not... Well, gl gravity has gone down a good amount, so... I am hoping a whole lot right now. Oh dear, I think I see what's breaking, actually. No, wait. No, I don't. Never mind. Actually, no, I need to leave that on. Okay, point five Gs. I think it's safe to now begin to level out and fly up like this. Yes, it is. Okay. But we're we're making it to space. Oh my gosh, we are making it to space. This is actually really exciting and terrifying at the same exact time. Okay, it looks like our artificial gravity is beginning to kick in. Say goodbye to the base. The only things I left there... Oh, wait, I forgot to show you the Mecha Miner hole. Dang it. How do I forget to show you guys that? Okay, um, hmm. How long does it take me to slow? Not that long, okay. I, and I'm not high enough to be able to just simply run off my ions, correct? Correct, definitely. Okay, our, so I'll show you guys what the Mecha Miner hole currently looks like. I just need to get into, like, fully into space. And probably orientate my O2 farms towards the sun. And we could park on that asteroid, but... Eesh, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't know if I feel comfortable about it. About basically saying uh, having basically having a pit stop right now just so I can show you all what I've done. But uh I would say we're out of atmosphere. We are out of we're out of atmosphere, so I think I'm... Mm, I don't want to say I'm safe to use the ions in the back, but currently th my frontal ions are doing saving me a good amount of power. Yep, see? My ions are saving me a really good amount of power. And as long as we don't hit an asteroid, we should be fine. Keyword there, should be. And we're accelerating again. 
So we will be leaving atmosphere literally a few seconds at most. And the reason I connected these with Marge blocks is so I could control both shits, ships, both ships at the same time. And I think I might actually be able to land on that asteroid. Let's just simply sort of drift upward. Because I think we, we should be good by the time we reach that rock. Okay, so that rock is still in atmosphere. Okay, that asteroid or... Yeah, asteroid. But I will say it's nice to know that my ion engines can now give me the boost I need to get higher. Okay. There are some more elsewhere. Okay, so 0 0.06 gravity and 0 0.88 artificial gravity. Yeah, I'm think that, hmm, that one looks interesting. It looks like a destroyed ship. But I am curious, where is the moon? Uh, that's not the moon right there. That is definitely not the moon right there. I think it's on the other side of the planet. Dang it. That's actually where I was planning on having my first... Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached orbit. Let me just engage... My, um... I can't think. My, um... Hydrogen. There we go. So, okay. Now that that's done, we still have a few have days to... worth. Let me just head up some and find a... Yeah, sure, this rock up here. I do not like those sounds. Well, here. So, okay, this is the home base, and this is the Mecha Miner's hole. So, if I head down here... Yep, the Mecha, Mi Mecha Miner stands on this little pedestal, just tall and proud. Um... And that's really it. So let's say bye to the base and get back into outer space. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. I need to move everything out. Thankfully. Oh, almost forgot my helmet. So, okay. Um, tank small. Wait, small? I thought this thing had a large on it. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't even need my hydrogen ones. And let me just make sure... H2 thrusters... And there is a reason why I need... 
You need to make sure to go through them all. All of them on, all of them off. There we go. And why are my back two ions off? Uh, toggle block on. On off. On off. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to grab the front of my rover with this one. If that is even possible. Which I don't know if it is, but... No, not enemy detected. Okay, so boom. Then I need to go... Everything's disabled. Okay. So the reason I am trying to get this one out... There's a freighter? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'm so close right now. Just let me grab you, please. Okay. I think I need hydrogen. Uh, stockpile on off. Seriously? What is the magnetism on on this connector or on both of these? Okay, there we go. Now I should be able to get it off. Well, I mean, you guys now get to see it in pure daylight ish so for those of you who are curious exactly why I did this I was basically messing around while I was connecting these two ships together and let's just say the game wasn't very happy with me I think it was num yep Let me just separate. Okay. Okay, so it looks like that gravity generator. Hang on. It should be on this one, right? Yeah. Well, that would make sense. So basically what happens is, oh, that got disconnected somehow. <laughs> Uh-oh. Please grind that down relatively quickly. So I also did pack with me a build and control, build and repair machine. And you need to be fly mode. There we go. Now that should begin salvaging that. There we go. Oh. Okay. Now, 
the fun part of trying to park this thing back up. Oh dear. Well, here, let me re reposition myself. Okay. Psh. Whoops. Uh, it might just be easier if I stick ions on this one. Uh, here, let me see. Do I have stuff to make ion engines? I honestly don't know. Let's look. Ion boom, ion thruster. Hey. Okay, I'm back. Let's grab 30 and put make sure we have one ion engine in each direction. So there, forward, well, up forward that I also need backwards backwards I need left now left and right then I need one more for up okay there we go Please tell me I brought everything I need. I don't think I have th thruster components. Oh dear. I mean, I'm not enemies with them, so I could be a little bit risky and fly over there, or I can just simply go... There's an assembler on this one I'm almost certain and that's right this one's reactors are all oh, no there we go okay there we go there we go there we go you all should be trying to pressurize hmm anyway production there we go yes okay so now I need six thruster components three okay so I need platinum gold and cobalt I'm pretty sure I brought plenty of each in the other one platinum gold and cobalt got it so Hmm, did I bring platinum? I did not bring any raw materials. Um, okay, well, looks like my idea is going to be scrapped. Here, let me go ahead and empty out my inventory. And the gravity is currently 2.0. So even a slight fall could hurt me. Okay, there's that here. And did I get all of them? Did I get the one off the very... I did not. Okay, so it looks like I'm doing it the way I originally thought. Yay. And by using the fighter. Okay, and... Latched. Okay, now that I'm latched... If I put a little bit of force back into that mag, into this. It was at like point 
Oh, nope. Yeah, that seems r roughly. <laughs> Let me raise you up. I will say, trying to insert something into a ship that is not really meant to go in is a little bit difficult. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Am I even turning it? There we go. I think now that I turned on the hydrogen, I think I have a little bit more control over it. Let me just real quickly... Yep, there we go. There we go. We are in. There we go. Connectors are enabled. Landing gear is disabled. And let me just keep on backing up to the point where I can just simply flip up side down or upside down to the gravity field. And just simply go and I should be oh no 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 there we go oh yeah I almost forgot I did give myself a little boost in my defensive capability where basically now I do like having an automatic airlock so here let me go ahead and put this one shields up and let me head downstairs So basically, the reason I can't close this now is because these doors will cut right into that. So I gave myself a personal shield. And I think I did give myself some armor plates, but I have no clue where those went. And also this ship, I almost forgot that I need to make myself a connector. I thought that was an enemy ship. If I'm going to be honest. Okay, now that that's done, I can go ahead and paint paint this one, this one, this one, and that one, like that, so this will take care of them, and I will position, well first, I'll turn on this thing shield, I'll put the shield up now, okay, shield is initializing, and this should not be called that large grid. And, <laughs> whoops. So I don't really have to worry about venting that just yet. I will though. And I should, okay, so here, let me first there we go, both shields. 
And now let me. Oh wow, this one's shield is struggling. Okay, so let me just simply go. Turn on those so I'm not going to move this thing move this one around too much. Then let me go ahead and hop into right over here. So just to let you know, so far I've only seen one neutral spacecraft. So I I'm not even sure if there are enemy spacecrafts. Be honest. To be honest. Woof. That was interesting. Okay. Just simply need to lower myself down. Aim myself up a little bit. And there we go. Now I just need to figure out which connector that is. Oh dear. Uh, it is... I have no clue, so I'm going to head out real quick and check. Yeah, I really should get a smaller vehicle to fit in here, but oh well. So here, what? Um... Connector. There. So I know which connector it is for. Or it is. Whatever you want to say. Okay. So now let me head. Turtle, there we go. Uh, switch lock. And there we go. I should have a mega shield, but I don't know why the shield isn't going over both of them. That's a little bit concerning. And I forgot one last thing I need to do. is make it so that I'm not burning excess hydrogen. But that was a fairly s that was a really smooth space launch. And uh why isn't your shield up? I'm curious. Suspended. Waking up false. Why? Down up. It's suspended. Probably because of this one. Okay. Is there a saying to, like, merge it or something? Mm. Ship shield emitter. Hmm. I have no clue. I'm going to have to figure that out off camera, but now I we are in space, so I'm going to need to get to use get get used to filling up my O2 by myself. Thankfully, this one has a built-in medic bay. Okay, but anyway, let's get this show on the road. Let's go ahead and head to one of these asteroids first. What is smoking?
Okay. Uh, I will meet all of you back uh, back in the next video on one of these asteroids with possibly the starts of a base active. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share all that amazing stuff. And I will see all of you. <laughs>